Hello friends. We're on another episode today and I'm showing you how I keep my house filled with flowers. I love to make flower arrangements. I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. Word to the wise, Food Lion has amazing flowers at an incredible cost, incredible cost. So I always try to get there early because listen, these people around here snatch up these flowers because of the value. That said, I love vases of different sizes, different um, widths and lengths. So I try to create, you know, depth and interesting perception when people look at the arrangements. My favorite flower is the hydrangea. Love them. Um, I'm an all things white type of person. I just think it's clean, it's refreshing, it feels pure. Um, but I just, I love white flowers. They're my favorite flowers. Um, but my most favorite flower are hydrangeas. That said, I like to cut them down depending on what size the vases are. Um, and also take off some of the additional leaves. Hydrangeas can be very leafy. And so depending on what type of arrangement I'm going for, I take off some of the leaves and this particular arrangement because I decided to mix single bunches of hydrangeas with a mixed bouquet of white flowers I'm really having to be careful about how many leaves that I keep so I do like to peel them down I'm doing a short and a tall arrangement today so I'm having to be very um, intentional about which flowers I put where so I don't have too many flowers in one vase compared to the other like I want them to be very full now my taller vase has a smaller neck and so the leaves have to go from the flowers otherwise the arrangement just looks jumbled up and like you just threw a bunch of grass in a vase and we try to avoid that we want it to look aesthetically pleasing and give off the appearance that I might have had a florist do it but it's your ghetto florist here we're winging it always got to throw a little dancing in there because I like to listen to music while I do most things and so I like to listen to music while I make my flower arrangements these flowers from Food Lion generally last about 10 to 14 days no kidding these are probably the longest lasting flowers I've ever come across in my lifetime. I don't know what type of steroids they're putting in their flowers, but these flowers have some longevity to them. So shout out to Food Lion and their floral department because y'all are doing God's work. Best value. These flowers range anywhere from $4 to $10. And I just mix them up. But definitely love how long they last. As you can see, I'm doing my best to kind of pick and choose where I want my flowers to go. Gotta love a little baby's breath. I don't like too much because it just looks tacky after a while, but a little baby's breath ain't never hurt, hurt nobody. So I like to spread it around, spread the love, you know. But I take my time. I really like to kind of play around with it to see which flowers go where, how the arrangement is looking overall. Some of the flowers in the bunches can be a little weird. So I'm always mindful, I kind of individually assess each flower See how it's going from flower to flower. Get a feel for the arrangements as I'm building it out. Sometimes I don't love it, so I have to go back and move some flowers around, peel more leaves off. Just depends.
as you can see, I just like to wrap up and make sure everything looks nice and even and aesthetically pleasing. And voila, you have your homemade floral arrangements. Hope this video helped you. Enjoy.